Hey y'all, it's fall. We're gonna make a fall dessert. We're gonna use this spice cake. You can use any brand. And we're gonna use some pumpkin puree. Let's get to cooking. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are preheating our oven to 350. You may hear my oven, it's very loud when it comes on. Um, and then we're gonna make the cake just exactly like it says on the back of the box. So we're gonna pour the cake mix in. We're gonna add one cup of water. We're gonna add three large eggs. And we're gonna add half a cup of vegetable oil. And we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna add the pumpkin puree. I'm gonna add the whole can. We're gonna mix that up. Make sure and start, uh, stop your mixer and scrape down the sides. So we got that ready. So I found my big muffin pan. I think I'm just gonna do this in muffins, uh, big muffins, and then I can freeze individual servings. Uh, so I'm gonna spray this muffin pan. I'm gonna spray it really good around the tops and everything. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip a scoop into each one of these. And again, these are extra big uh, muffins. So it's taken almost a whole scoop. I like to do this when it's just the two of us and also if you have company, unexpected company sometime, and you have these ready in the freezer, you can just pop them out and serve them. I'm not real big on convenience things, but it's fall, y'all, and it is time to do things quick where we can enjoy the fires and all the goodies outside. So my oven is preheated to 350. I'm gonna put these in the oven, and I'll probably have enough for maybe, um, I don't know, I'm guessing three more of these. We can't forget the nuts, it's fall, y'all. This little thing was from my mother. And all I'm gonna do before I put these in the oven is I'm gonna sprinkle pecans. I had some pecans in the freezer. I'm gonna sprinkle them on the top. The cake mix says to bake these at 25 to 30 minutes. That's for a cake. I've got the extra large muffins. So I'm gonna check it at 20 minutes. So it has took about 25 minutes for these big muffin tins. I went ahead and instead of doing three more of the big ones, thought these look good. <laughs> they ain't got the icing on them yet. Uh, I did a small muffin tin, the regular size, so I've got six more of them, and I did not put nuts on them because you never know who could be allergic or not. So I'm gonna let these cool, and then we'll drizzle some icing on it. Smells delicious. So these aren't as pretty as those over there, but when we get these dusted with confectioner's sugar, they will look really good. And that's what I'm gonna do with these because I'm gonna freeze those.
So all I'm doing for this uh, icing that I'm going to drizzle on the ones with the nuts on it is a little milk and confectioner sugar whisk it together and just make an icing. Uh, I may put some vanilla flavoring in it. In fact, I think I will. Some of my good vanilla flavoring. Have y'all saw the vanilla flavoring that I made? Oh my goodness, it's so good. And I've got some that's cured and ready. If you haven't, go check out that video, homemade vanilla extract, Our Forever Farm. No measurement to this. Just a little powdered sugar. Do y'all make your own powdered sugar? It's really easy. I'll try to show that one day. And just a little milk. And if you get too much milk, and I probably just did, just add a little more confectioner sugar to thicken it. And just a little dab of vanilla flavoring. I'm gonna add just a little more confection of sugar to that, thicken it up. So the icing is ready. Whenever my muffins are cool enough, we'll drizzle these on, these, the ones with the nuts. Now what I've done is I've put a pizza pan or a cookie sheet, whatever you want. Just put it under there for any nuts that fall off. And when you drizzle your icing, the icing will go on there and you can just wash it. These are the ones I'm just going to dust with powdered sugar, but they're not quite cool enough to come out of the pan yet. So these are, they're about cool. They probably, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to let them sit a few more minutes, but as you can see, I'm just gonna drizzle these. I'm just gonna let it fall on the cookie sheet. Just drizzle this over. Don't that look so good? And that's it. A nice fall dessert. I'm just using the same rack that I had the others on. And I'm just going to set these up here to cool a little bit more. Then we're going to just dust them with some confection sugar. You also can do that when you uh, thaw them out. If you're going to freeze them, you can do that when you thaw them out and uh, serve them. Or you can make the icing like I just put on the one with the nuts. We're going to let those cool just a few minutes. It's probably been 10 minutes or so, and I'm just going to put some uh, confectioner sugar in this little strainer, colander, and I'm just going to dust these with this. This is just a different way to decorate these. So simple. People think you've worked all day. I don't do this too often, but I gotta take a bite. It's so big. I might have done them too big. You gotta try these. These are heavenly. Delicious. Again, it's fall, y'all. Go cook something. Delicious.